Hello everyone, my name is uh, Federico Chiarelli and I'm here to speak about the Open Source Observatory of the European Commission, if it helps. Yes. So since there are lots of people from all over the world, maybe you are not familiar with uh, OZOR. OZOR uh, aims to, get to be a middle ground between public administration and open source communities, to foster the adoption of open source also to uh, the different governments. And we are trying to reach this objective by uh, offering a variety of services. The first one being, uh, uh, being an uh, information observatory. This means we produce case studies, information, uh, country intelligence on uh, different uh, countries throughout Europe. And then we are really trying to be uh, middle ground and connect uh, open source uh, communities with uh, government. We also try to help the community by uh, proposing a, a kind of a legal assistance to choose the right uh, licenses to apply to the different projects. But the reason why I'm here today is uh, to discuss our uh, last project. We are trying to define guidelines to create a sustainable open source community within the public sector. Our objective is to identify the key success factors that uh, define uh, the sustainability of a community then to define some case studies to identify success, uh, success stories and failure, and then finally to get your feedbacks to really uh, create community-driven guidelines. So uh, in order to achieve this, uh, this objective, we are, uh, for the moment we are uh, launching a survey that all of you is invited to, to take part to, and we are really trying to get your feedback, what you would like to see within these guidelines, uh, to share your knowledge on uh, success stories and, uh, and uh, failure ones. Tomorrow we will be also uh, attending the FOSM event and then we'll, we will have a specific workshop on the topic. It's uh, one hour and a half, it's in the afternoon, 5.30, and then we will really like to see uh, some, of, some of your faces uh, showing up tomorrow. For the time being, what we've been uh, doing is to define the uh, key success factor. For the, uh, until now, we have been, uh, we had lots of speakers speaking about the different metrics. The guidelines, it's kind of complementary tool. Once you know where you're standing, your values, you should know how to improve those, uh, those uh, metrics. So uh, we define four main key factors, and uh, they are listed here, and some of them, uh, we already heard about them before, like the community health, clear governance, sustainable finance, adoption of incentives, and technology maturity. Uh, so I guess the time is almost up, so... Uh, we have one and a half minutes. Wow, oh, that's perfect. So just, uh, <laughs> that's great. Uh, so just to remind you that uh, it's, um, we can talk after this meeting, you can engage us on the, our platform, it's ozor.eu, and then we try to always have events and meet uh, the community face to face to gather your feedback. So on the 11th there will be a webinar, tomorrow will be at FOSDEM, so please uh, share your knowledge with you, with us, and then uh, uh, we will try to implement your feedbacks within our uh, guidelines. I don't know if there is any questions since we have one minute left, I guess. <laughs> no questions? Some people that will attend tomorrow force them. Just uh, can people raise their hands if uh, they will attend force them tomorrow? If they're thinking to come to this uh, workshop. <laughs> no one, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Please, it uh, will be fun. I mean, uh, will be also a moment to get in touch with, uh, with the European Commission. So, please, thank you very much. Thank you.